Player two, please, please begin our intro. Fixing problems can be very hard, but we came up with an idea to fix the problem of littering and then getting clean energy in Port Towns in Washington. To be a bit more specific, we are mainly focusing on Fort Warden to make it more sustainable. The problem of littering affects many animals and the beach. Plastic lines cover a lot of the beach, and oil pollution is a, is worse in the water. Hello, this is our solution to plastic, to plastic and energy. We have decided that we would use boats with solar panels to reduce our carbon footprint and clean up the air a bit. We have also decided that water treatment boats would be a good fit for cleaning up what the plastic left. We also have boats dedicated to cleaning up the plastic and said water. As for the garbage on the beach, we have decided that a group of local volunteers and more trash cans accessible to the public is a good idea. Player number three, please. Uh... Hello, this is our sustainable development bill. We're working on littering in Fort Wharton. We learned that CO2 affects the earth by warming it like a heater. We can fix the climate change problem by not using fossil fuels and not littering. Littering affects the earth by the plastic that is thrown into the environment, turning into microplastics that live in the ocean. Any plastic that was made is still here. We're also working on clean energy and using solar panels to make energy. We think that if we take polluted water and clean it and then put it into batteries and use those to power things like boats, cars, etc., we are also using solar panels on boats to sustainably power the boats and to collect energy for use in batteries. We know that solar panels are a sustainable option instead of fossil fuels. We hope this option works. If more people decide to help, we can end this climate change. Player 3, please kindly end the video. Hi, we are Table 3-4 at Chimicum Elementary, Washington. Today we are building the Port Townsend Paper Mill for our single development project. We chose the paper mill because it's the nearest big industrial plant in our area. It came to our attention that the mill was producing large amounts of chemicals that were bad for the environment, yet we didn't know how bad they were. Because of the mill, we are, exper we are experiencing people getting sick, impact on, impact on the wildlife, pollution of the air, and the list goes on. If we don't find a better way to make paper, we can speed the process of pollution and environmental hazards in our community. Table 3 for a solution is to add filters to the smokestacks to reduce the chemicals of sulfur dioxide. This solution should hopefully help the air quality and the experience of Port Townsend, making the animals, people, and the world happier. The solution is to add a filter to the smokestack to separate the chemicals and oxygen. I believe, and hopefully my team does, that we need to change the environment while we can. We learned about the sulfur dioxide that the Port Townsend mill is putting out into the air. The mill is putting 12% sulfur dioxide into the air, 51% car carbon monoxide into the air. We could all help by helping each other stop polluting the air. Okay. I'm going to talk about where and what our build is, so let's get started. Here is the creek called Piper's Creek in Seattle. Next is our water plant, our plant, right above the delta of the creek. Okay, this is the truck that will carry the garbage down the road. Now to player two. Hi, player two. We are going to the creek to see the problem. Now, follow me to the head of the creek. Uh, if you look around, there is a lot of garbage, and that is a problem. Now to player three. Hi, I'm player three, and a solution that we have made for the pollution in the Piper's Creek is to, pro to filter out the garbage before it is entered into the ocean, um, and that is the, the solution we have play made. Now to player four. Hi, I am the last player, player four, and what I will be saying is what we learned from this project. 
We learned a lot more on how pollution affects the world and how it takes a big part in climate change. And with that, we are done. Do not. We are a 6G table, 910 of Shimakum School District in the United States of America. So we're doing the 4,000 paper mill. We can recreate the 4,000 paper mill. The problem is that it's releasing toxic chemicals into the air and water and creates lamp pollution. And also makes up roughly 26% of solid molecules in the landfill sites. The and during paper manufacturing also a major greenhouse gas that causes climate change and also these toxic gases tribute to air pollution. How the mill affects our environment and people is by releasing toxic chemicals and greenhouse gases gases into the air that is causing climate change. The protesters paper mill keeps getting fined. The greatest that they've gotten fined was $346,000 for air pollution. Okay. Uh, as our, as for our solu- other solution, we made 18 by 31 meters flying drones that fly around over the paper mill and filter the toxic chemicals, including greenhouse gases, which can cause climate change. It separates the toxic materials from the oxygen and lets out clean air while storing the toxins. We learned, what we learned from this project was that we need to make sure the world is a better place for future generations by reducing Reducing the air population from the Port Townsend paper mill, which produces toxic chemicals like nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide, and a lot more. Also, chemicals from it can cause diseases, headaches, vomiting, and cause Cindy Buxton to move to Alaska because her family.